Hi, how are you guys? It's Yvonne. Just finding a mirror to tell you what I'm fixing to do. So, as promised, I'm going to go down and do um, a thrift haul video just out of my house of the stuff that I bought that you guys didn't get to see because I kind of went by myself for a little therapy, um, you know, over the last eight weeks. But I always like to give you guys first dibs. So, I'm going to go show you so you have time to message me if you want to catch something before it goes someplace else. Okay, so I'll see you downstairs. Okay, so here we go. Got the camera turned around and I've got it set up temporarily on a table so I could try to remember. <laughs> it hasn't been shown yet for you guys to get your first dibs. There might be a couple pieces on here that I just put for safekeeping. I just set up a table in Pop's room. We haven't quite worked with it yet. Okay, we'll start over here. Yeah, I do see these. I showed you guys. I think I just showed it on Instagram, but Vintage Vinny knew them right away and sent me some information, including a picture from his book. I think they're worth about 200 to 250 a piece. So I think I put those there for safekeeping. Yeah, and I did show you guys that in a video. Uh, I talked about always buying bags of these pendalogs. I don't know if pendalogs needs to be a certain shape. These crystal danglies, they sell for three to five dollars a piece average, but look a whole bag for $3.99 and I have so much more downstairs, but I buy that kind of stuff. I've never really offered them for sale. I buy them to fix things, but I would sell some if somebody needed. The reason I bought this plush is this is worth about 40 to 50. So I paid 5.99. Can't really remember. There was something about this character and something about the tag made it more special. So some of you probably know exactly who that is. <laughs> okay, carrying on. I think I might have showed this too. Sorry. Some things I put up for, for safekeeping and further identification. I think I did show this. This little sleeper doll. Sleepy eyes or blink eyes. But her eyes, let me see if I can capture that. Her eyes were so... Oh, it's not going to do it. When I showed it on the outdoor, her eyes are so blue. Yeah, I can't really capture that. A beautiful plate. This one has such Art Nouveau vibes to it. I think it's the Limoges blank. I'm not sure. What does it say? Oh, it says Prussia. I don't know. That one's just so gorgeous. I was like, well, if that don't sell, I'll keep it. Some little retro vibe glasses. I haven't quite identified if they're older or not, but I loved the retro rainbow vibe. This coffee pot is, that was a better brand. Oh, La Crusade. One of you tried to teach me how to say that. It'll take a while. So I think the value, the resale value on that one and the deep red is good. I feel like it was somewhere around 30, 35. And this cute little England perfumed powder, poppy <laughs> talcum powder. So that's got a lot of good elements to it, right? Yeah, made in England. That's really cute. What's on the other side? Same thing. Okay, so it's a complete wrap around. Oops, I didn't mean to unceremoniously <laughs> just drop you down. Raku. Always the Raku. This one has an extra element on it. $6.99. I didn't peel off to see if it was signed because at that level of awesomeness and skill, and that's the kind of Raku I like. There's different styles, but I love that iridized oil spill I call it that might even might not even go for sale I don't know if one of you loves it more than I do I'm cool with it and another piece of weeping bright this one this really big weeping bright weeping bright in gold for $3.99 underneath the tag it's probably signed in some kind of gold as well saying you know what it is that seems to sell pretty well still at the booth. Probably like around 20 on that. This is a studio piece. But man, pretty epic. $1.99. Let's put this over here. Look what they did. So they've got some... 
I don't know exactly how this is done. I'm guessing that you spray some kind of oil, alcohol or something when you paint it and it does that or it's a watercolor. I'm not sure, but it's epic. They added a little texture to it, what we would call maybe Moriage if we were talking like a Japanese piece. And then they did something else here. At first I thought it was a mistake, but they did some etching and some scroll work. And then of course we have the ombre, oblesque shape. So that was a no-brainer for a dollar ninety-nine. It's about 14 inches tall. A little Star Wars gumball machine. We've got Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. And it does work. So it's pretty cool. It shows the mechanism inside. How much was that? $5.99. It's a jelly belly for jelly beans, but you might could put something else of a proper size. Oh, there's the jelly belly. Yeah, label on the top. Of course, safety pin art. I'm still working on the collection too. $1.99 <laughs> for this cute little vase. The collection's getting really big, like I said the other day in the friend mail unboxing, Goodwill receipts, and then I found another one. <laughs> so $1.59 for what appears to be an angel with some pearlized beads. So between me and you guys and my local friends, it is getting quite extensive. It's going to be impressive. <laughs> now you guys, if you're new and don't know this little kitschy thing I'm doing, those currently do not have much resale value at all. Like I said the other day, unless it's a Christmas tree or a big lamp or something, but it's fun to save. It's cheap and it's just cute. I know this is new. $2.99 but I just fell in love with it. I'm a big fan of Lucite and acrylic vintage preferably and so this is just for me. Let's see what else? Okay we're good here. Oh and this is older. Look at this piece. I don't know just fascinating. This older floral acrylic piece. About the size of a saucer. Yeah, <laughs> cute, huh? Set you there. And, oh gosh, I already forgot. Darn it. These, okay, I did pay $7.99 unless it was on sale. I usually try to mark through it to remind myself. These were made for some kind of brandy or wine. Brandy, probably. I don't, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. They have a little bit of resale value. Plus, it's just kind of cool. So... A little glass slipper and then the corkscrew. I might have paid full price for that because it was kind of cool and the comps were okay. Um, oh, some newer, more modern Pyrex. I think this is what they're selling at Target right now. What does that say on the bottom? Does it still say Made in USA? It does. How, how about that? So I'm not a Pyrex person, so take it easy on me. But I've got a couple of bowls of it. I feel like this is the current stuff sold in Target. But then when it's gone, it's gone, you know. And some Pyrex collectors kind of want it all. So how much was this? $2.99 and then a, there's another bigger one in there. So I did that. Oh, three of them. So I'll probably put it in the booth. Let's see what's down here. Some of this I forgot. Okay, must have been at the Ark, that one. Oh, that's a Pyrex too, with gold splatter on it. Yeah, let me make sure I know what I'm saying. Yeah, Pyrex, $5.99. It was at the Ark, and then it went to the Goodwill. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I was looking everywhere for this the other day. <laughs> ah, Let's see what we got. Um, This is cool. Velvet Burnout just does well for me. 100% silk, made in USA, so I'm going to say vintage, 70s, 80s, guessing. But these sell well for me, and I liked the velvet. There's a better name for it. Some people just call them frog. But there's a better name for it, for that kind of closure. Oh, this was a surprise. Yeah, I just thought, well, that sure is awfully good quality. 
Whose is that? Nice and clean. I think I paid up a little bit. $7.99. $7.99. That's paying up for me. But we might as well get used to it at the thrift stores. So this turns out to be a Mexican brand made in Mexico and quite popular. Viva Consuela. <laughs> and this, all kinds of purses that she makes. Very good quality. Made in Mexico with love. Viva Consuela, it says down in there in the tag. Excellent condition. The straps don't even have any like signs of being handled. So the resale value on this smaller size is actually about 40 to 50 bucks. So I learned a new brand and it's just cute. And I got some of the little diamond point whatever art that's been popular. You know, you stick them on yourself on a pattern. These are already done. I don't know if someone did them or if these are samples. But $2.99 a piece. Awesome. I picked, there were a few. I picked out the ones that were in great condition, nothing missing, and seemed more, you know, pleasing to the eye. Okay. <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, well, I'll show it. You guys don't tell. This is 80s? Is that 80s? I think so. Um, a little bit vintage. Let's just put it that way. This name here, Ellen Negley. I'm pretty sure this is an older version. I paid $6.99, but this is going to be friend mail. It's still so nice and clean. You guys can probably guess to who. Um, I bought a flying pig. Vintage Fitz and Floyd made in Japan for Dagny. Um, flying pig thrift. And I showed Jocelyn, hey, look what I finally found something cool for Dagny. Because what I sent her before was, it was cool, it was handmade. But I don't know if you guys remember, it's been quite a few months. But it wasn't vintage so i found her something vintage but i didn't show jocelyn this i'm i picked this up for her <laughs> so sent her some friend mail and i do fairly well with these vintage little makeup bags by christian dior if there's certain names right i do pretty well with the collectors so this was only 2.99 i suspect if i wait for the right person that just adores some vintage christian dior um maybe makeup came in it or a perfume set or it was a gift with how department stores used to do that i don't know if they still do that but i remember in the 80s and 90s they always did it i don't go to department store makeup counters anymore so i'm not sure but i'm suspecting i can probably get 20 maybe even a little more for this pretty easy on ebay that'll go on ebay some clothing i remember this oh this is so cool so this is Frontier Collection, made in USA. This is all suede and leather. Oh, darn it. I'm having a senior moment again. These are called something hair, hair bones. I don't know. They're common with this kind of artwork. It's missing a couple. So what I'm going to do is rearrange where I think I can take some off and it won't be missed. Like these two can probably come off and maybe the two on the very bottom can come off to where I can fix this. It is so awesome. And the deal was it was so cheap. Can I still find it? There it is. Look at that. $8.99. So look at that minty blue all down the back too. This is probably going to go for about $100. that will go on eBay. Showing you guys stuff for first dibs before it goes somewhere. It takes me a while. This was beautiful. $4.99. A nice little shawl, like um, triangle with the fringe. I'm a sucker for fringe. But these can make nice, you know, like hanging over a chair or what am I trying to say? Like a table runner accent piece. Again, it is triangle shape though. Very, very pretty. Embroidered beads sequins fringe okay hey let go stormtrooper oh and this <laughs> isn't this adorable it wasn't very much what 349 and i think i got a little bit of a discount for military monday it's just a long hangy piece i'm guessing mexico maybe not and a little bell on it and that goes with the parrot purse for friend mail to Jocelyn. 
and send Jocelyn and I've got Dagny some friend mail and I've got some for Kathy the kitschy cat <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? I just can't help it. When I'm out, I always buy for friends and family. And at Christmas, everyone knows it's coming from Thrift Store Santa. $5.99. I think I bought this for myself. Look at this <laughs> with the tinsel on it. I'm not good with turtlenecks, but it's just a mock turtleneck. And it feels really good quality. It's actually a blue, a navy blue. I can't remember if there was a tag in it or not. Nope, it just says extra large. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. But this fabric, this sweater fabric, is really nice. It almost feels like it might have some cashmere in it. So that's my holiday vintage sweater. Here's some 80s, 90s swag. Although it could be, let's see. I think that company is still in business. Don't quote me. But it de definitely has that look. It's a nice large, probably taking this. It's just a pullover hoodie half zip big kangaroo pockets but you know not coming in on the hand side snapped I think it's an extra large $6.99 sorry one-handed but I think I'm taking that to my 80s 90s whatnot sale I might have it on YouTube because I'm not 100% fond of whatnot this, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not going to show this too much. This is a Hermes scarf, and I think it might, I think it's bootleg. But I've been picking up some bootleg stuff at the thrift store. I don't know why they think they're allowed to do it. Like, I saw a bootleg Louis Vuitton bag for 50 bucks. But anyways, I've been buying things. If they're affordable, I'm going to do a special video on knockoffs and bootlegs. So that's what that is. Although, I will say I have bought... Um, some authentic Hermes ties and scarves and done quite well as some of you know why did I get this okay parrots oh I know why I bought George a Hawaiian shirt for his box when he was here and I couldn't really find a, an authentic one you know he kind of would rather have authentic that's what he likes to wear um, $4.99 probably some off for senior or whatever and I thought I need to get him another one so I did find a rain spooner that was great and I was so excited but then when I washed it it had a hole in it and I'm like darn I gotta start over this one's cool though it's not really vintage vintage at all it's a Levi's so I thought well that gives it some clout I'm a big Levi's girl from oh my gosh way back um and I liked the parrots so I thought if I don't find a nice rain spooner or Hilo Hattie, if I'm saying it right, that maybe I'll put this in his box. That's super cool. Or maybe add it to Jocelyn's box for Drew. <laughs> Although he mostly wears t-shirts, but that's really cool. Hawaiian shirt with being Levi's. Oh, what do we have here? Gosh, some of this I don't remember. How much was this? $2.99? That's kind of cool. What is that? Nepal or Guatemalan? Guatemala? forgive me I know sometimes I mispronounce words or don't say them right sometimes it's because I've only read them and I haven't really heard them or I heard them from someone else that didn't say it right this is pretty cool bag it's a purse just a shoulder bag pretty cool though I see these a lot at some of the import stores um, what would I say can I say Middle Eastern import store is that right anyways two ninety nine seems like a good deal and it's so nice and colorful and then we have some vintage purses. This was just cute with the sequin cherries. It's not real, real old at all. Oops, there's a receipt. Need to get that out. <laughs> um, but I just thought it was cute with the cherries. It kind of goes with that. Um, is rockabilly still a thing? I don't know. That might have already morphed into something else. But it's a cute little handbag. Oh, wait, I did show you guys this. Mickey Mouse sweater sequin patch. I did show you guys this. I think I might have said it here. I don't know why. Maybe to remind me. So these are all the purses. Look at this vintage 90s Nike bag in the black patent. I've seen people list these anywhere from $30 to $80. So it depends on condition. This one looks pretty nice. 
I like the shouldered, padded shoulder strap and helps to be non-slip. I'm kind of tempted to keep this. I was showing this to Peter, a friend I met through Jocelyn, and we talk at night sometimes, and we're like, okay, what'd you get today? We do a little show and tell. And I was showing him this. I'm like, I might keep that. That would look so cool for traveling. And this one too. <laughs> this Rubik's Cube, I think they, let's say average 40. Some cheaper, some more expensive, depending on condition. $4.99, I got a good deal. This one's in good condition. Let me try to get to the tag, y'all. Here we go. 1974 Rubik's. This is an older one. Man, it's in great shape, too. Yes, it is. I think you guys saw... I must have all my purses together. You saw when I found the Eden and Collins. I think I already showed you guys this one. Yeah, I haven't brought this to a sale yet. The one I bought for myself... <laughs> it's new, but there aren't a whole lot of them around in that condition. Did I show you guys this one? I don't think you saw this one. This vintage wicker purse with the acrylic handles and the Christmas theme. Um, fabric applique with some beads and some fabric paint. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Even if you just set it out. Yes, love that. How much was that? $10.99. I, either I got it on sale and forgot to mark it or I just thought it was worth it. So epic. And this is probably a keeper for me. Someone made this because you know you can buy these handles different types to put on purses. Um, even today you can. You can buy new old stock or upcycle another one. But I love this. I'm not crazy about the camouflage. And I think I'm going to take off the military and put on some of my like smiley face and more hippie oriented. But I'm kind of a fan of this one. I wish it was Levi's. Then it would really be everything. How much was that one? $8.99. So I think I'm going to keep that one for myself. <laughs> that is so fun. Okay, did we get everything here? I think we did. And I've got a couple more pieces in a box. Let's drop down here. This is new. It's just a light up rainbow light. So I, I'm going to put it in my booth. That's what that's for. Okay, so some pretty cool stuff. So there's first dibs. You guys can, you know, send me an email to the dedicated email if you see something that you liked or want to know more about. And we can negotiate a meet in the middle price. Except for the parrot stuff. That's going to Jocelyn as a thank you. And um, something that was for Dagny. I think I already showed you guys that. All right, let me run downstairs. I've got some boxes down there. I'm in Pop's room, you guys. I set up a table here. We haven't worked on it yet. Hannah and I are going to start working on it. It's just, you know, I'll do it when I'm ready. But this is my, well, the other half of my major um, living room that we gave for Pops. It's so big. So a bed area, TV area, food area. You see Dad liked to make all that stuff. <laughs> and we just let him do whatever he wanted. And, um, you know, he's got my table that we use for a desk. And, you know, we just let him do his thing and make it comfortable. I removed the lampshade. Um, so anyways, that's that. That's where I put this tribute. And I was telling you guys every night I'm still coming in and I still say, Good morning, Pops. Good night. So anyways, it's time for me to put on my big girl panties and I'll put this someplace else, maybe in my dressing room for a while or maybe even leave it hanging here for a while and it's time to... Uh, we're giving some of the furniture to people that need it. So that's what's going to happen there. All right, let's switch rooms. Oh, <laughs> there's the smiley collection that you guys were waiting for me to organize so you can see. You guys, you have sent me some of the coolest stuff. And there is some epic stuff that my husband has bought me too that I've found. That you guys have sent me. I need another shelf unit. There's some really unusual and hard to find pieces there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, before we head to another room... I didn't want this to get stepped on or anybody to get hurt. But this is a piece I bought without you guys. It's somebody's metal work. It was only $8.99. They did that burnishing 
around the edges and I think they tagged it. I felt like somewhere there was a tag. Maybe not. I felt like I couldn't determine if this was really a one-off piece, someone making it themselves, or if this was mass produced. I thought there was a tag, maybe not. Anyways, it's quite long. It's almost three feet long. It's so cool. So I've got it here. And just for fun, I'll show you guys these pillows. I haven't washed them. I just set them outside. I bought these for myself. A good pillow is kind of expensive if you go to Home Goods and stuff. $5.99. There's two of them. But I want you to look at the, let me see if I can catch it. Some of that silver has the, see the rainbow effect? It's like um, prismatic. There's the word I'm looking for. And they're a little oversized. So I fell in love with these. So when I get done cleaning those up, those are going into the bedroom. Okay, so let's run to the other room. I've got some boxes of stuff you didn't see. Haha, uh -huh, Kathy's still having her sale. I watched most of it and I bought some stuff and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be working. So <laughs> anyways, I've got her still playing in the background in case I see something, I can hop off of this, switch over and pay for it or, you know, bid on it. I've already bought like four items. Okay, so here we go. Got this down with the computer area because some is going to go to the booth. Let me turn Kathy down. Okay, a few things in these boxes. Again, like I said, if you don't remember, the reason I'm doing this thrift haul at home is I took a couple trips right after father checked out. Um, just to kind of clear my head and so filming at the same time was not was too much not really my goal so but I didn't want to process any of it until you guys got to see it because a lot of you will buy things right from my thrift with me video and you know I give you a better price being YouTube friends okay this is mine now 349 this is vintage it goes to a lamp but I think I can still upcycle this. And if not, I'm cool to keep it just like it is. It's just so cool. But if you look at these, the lamps can sell for a little bit, 80 to to $100. And they come in different colors and sizes. So I think with that hole there, it would be pretty easy to put in one of those, like upcycle it from Home Depot and put in what, a hanging piece you know what I mean it goes down in that hole and screws in or I might just keep it for decoration so behind me is stuff I'm processing for the booth which is what I'm supposed to be doing today because they're having extended hours in a pizza party the owners having a pizza party for it. extended hours from six to nine but I, you guys I just don't like to do stuff too late at night I like to spend time with my family this is my first piece of acro agate that I've actually found at a good price out in the wild that's my first piece. I, I was like, is that jadeite or? Anyways, that'll be going up for sale. What else is in there? Oh, I love this purse. Look at this tooled leather purse with a long strap. It's just a little one. So cute, made in Mexico, tooled leather. See what I'm talking about? Nice, long, adjustable strap. <laughs> that is so cute. How much was that? $5.99. And it's zippered inside. Love it. I could only find one of these. These are modern and they sell for, I think about 20 to 25 a piece. Pepper mill or salt mill. Mr. Dudley, in case you're interested. There it is. In case you absolutely love it, but want two of them or maybe a different color. This does have purple tones in it. I might keep that. This has Laura Caldwell written all over it. And I haven't sent her any friend mail for a while, but there's only one. But you know what? There's specialty peppers, right? And specialty salt. So, all right. And this little wooden owl. Isn't that adorable? It stands up. So cute. Good price. Okay, how much was that? $129. I don't know. It's just cute, right? A little oversized. Still chooses to be seen in public with crazy cohort. $3.99. <laughs> Let's put it down. <laughs> piggy plate, piggy serving plate, amber glass. I didn't know what this was, but it just looked kind of epic. 
So I didn't want to miss something cool. Different colors on the front and the back, signed. But what this turns out to be is an Antigua piece, and I that's from the Caribbeans. So these are kind of common pottery pieces painted by different people and offered in the tourist shops over in the Caribbeans. That one's really cool though with the two different color choices. And the artist did sign it. Uh, Kim Warner, I tried all kinds of things to figure it out and um, no luck. I think it was about four or five dollars. And so online it looks like they're about a $20, $25 piece. Oh, well, maybe I can get that out. This has a few issues, nothing really horrible, and it's just lap size. Somebody made this in 1996 from South Dakota. Hand pieced, hand quilted for my friend Julia in Grand Junction, Colorado. Girl Cat Blackie. Anyways, I just thought she did a good job with the cats and the butterflies. Let me pack up. And there's provenance on it, right? It's a little faded in the back along here, but it was a good price. And with the theme, I don't do a lot of this kind of stuff, but with the theme, I mean, cats and butterflies, you just can't go wrong. $4.99. Oh, there is something else down in there. I haven't investigated what this is. I don't know if it's Chrome Craft or not. But it was pretty glass. You can see it's got a little bit of marbling in it. Some dimples. And then on the metal. So I haven't even peeled the label off or worked with it to see whose this is. But it was a good price and it was cute. And if you follow me a lot, you know I'm always buying these. And these sell. These always sell. $3.49. Remnants of who the importer was. That's a nice one too. This one's between a saucer size and a dinner plate. So there's that. Yeah, you can see my kit for tagging things and my laptop for my Excel spreadsheet for the booth. That's what I was gonna work on today, but I'm just not feeling it. $4.99, I'm always good to buy the burnout. This is a nice long scarf with fringe and you can always use it as a runner as well these sell just about any platform velvet burnout and it is ombre quite long receipts this purse is vintage i would say i think i remember this fabric i think that's 90s late 80s 90s don't quote me just yet but this is an awesome purse the gold metallic like raw silk striped kind of a tweed like you can say but i think there's a better word there we go look how that opens this is wood and then it clicks together and you can change the strap see this is a muted um excuse me matte gold metallic gold that is just a great little purse definitely oh i bought this for myself $6.99. You guys are going to laugh though. Wait, wait a minute. Isn't this cute? Someone, it's a, like a thin denim jacket with the embellishments on it. It's a little dated, like about five or six years ago, but I like it. I'm probably going to have to take those pearls off though and put something else. But what was so funny is, look, size 4X. Made in China. It's an Asian import size 4X. And it barely fits me. It's like between a large, extra large. But it's so cute. It's got that boho romantic look on it, right? And it's nice and thin. Oh, an acrylic piece. You know, that's mine. Sorry. Could be modern. It says something on the bottom. Can't really make it out. Wasn't worried about it patent pending it says okay because that's mine you know me and my acrylic oh there's Dagny's piece yeah we talked about that so you guys I think you saw me get this maybe or maybe it was just me showing it to Jocelyn that I'm thinking of see this is a vintage Fitz and Floyd made in Japan so I get to send her something truly vintage so that makes me happy and I found some Mary mushroom these are the authentic not the Arnell molds or anything. These are the authentic 
Sears and Roebuck, two of them. And they were priced $6.99 to $5.99 with a as-is small chip inside. But when I open them up, the chip is just a little chip on the inside lip. So that's not going to bother anybody. Something about this, I just said, get it. I don't know. I don't know yet. Haven't found out anything about it. But it must truly be vintage, right? So she's cute. Got a little collection of dolls that I've been saving. I'm not real good at dolls yet, so. Oh, and this is another piece. I could only find one, but it's another like shaker. And where's it at? There. I don't know if you can read it. Something Williams and a date and numbered. And when I Google lensed it, it came right up. And these do have some resale value of somewhere around 20 to 30, depending on condition. So it's a more contemporary piece, but it's a nice quality, like artisan type piece. And I do that as well. Is that it? What's in here? Oh, <laughs> a Tupperware mold. $2.99, probably a little off, but it was in mint condition and I liked the color. So it's one of those Tupperware yellow molds, three piece set. Is there anything in here? Let's see. Oh, these are for me. Some Viking Georgian. I don't have any of this, of the blue. $1.99. And I think the resale value on these is somewhere around eight to ten dollars. And not too thick, not too thin, you know. Just feels good. The vintage glass like that. A couple other little trinkets. I think I bought this for myself for Halloween. Sequin kitty cat, so that's not for sale. That's mine. Some little trinkets in there for two dollar add-ons and giveaway, so can't really offer first dibs on those. And I think this is the last box. That was just funny, going into the booth. My mom always said that. <laughs> My mom always said that, it was like $2. What else is in here? Oh, a Burberry tie. I don't do a lot with ties, but I'll breeze through them. And if I see Burberry or Hermes or something like that, I think everything else in there you guys have seen, that's boxed up to tag for the booth. So you guys, we're all caught up on things. I think I'm gonna make myself now. Now I think I'm gonna make myself get off of this. <laughs> Kathy had a pretty good sale. I think she's about to wrap it up. Get off of this and get to work. I've got stuff spread all out. There's my Panther collection, some of it. I've got stuff spread everywhere down in my family room and I do not like it. I want it back in the eBay room. But I'm working with it for sales. I'm sorting through it. What's going to the booth? Because I have two empty showcases at the booth I still haven't filled up. So we're going to work on my jewelry collection too. And I'll probably do another jewelry whatnot sale with Kat, the Nurse Flipper, and Thrifting Vegas. Well, okay, you guys. I should get to work. So email me if there was something you wanted. This is why I'm doing this. So you guys can have first dibs before things go elsewhere. All right. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you later.